Well, the world of Satisfactory looks pretty awesome at nighttime. So welcome back to Satisfactory. We have expanded once again to include a whole new iron row of conveyor belts. So we are pumping out iron like crazy. And the reason why is because the first like load that we're going to send back through the space elevator requires us to make 75 reinforced iron plates and 50 rotors which is a ton and so in order to do that I needed more screws and more screws requires more iron rods and so I've got two things pumping out iron rods one for plates and we are chugging along now so in today's episode what I really would like to do is see if when I upgrade to the next tier of things if I'll be able to essentially maybe make some vehicles because I just in tier two like there's different things that you can do in tier two and there's tiers one through three and so if i complete this space elevator phase one i know there are vehicles in this alpha and it has to be underneath in tier three and so if i uh complete the first phase i'm assuming it's going to unlock vehicles and that's really what i want to get unlocked today and so i don't know if it's going to be possible we're going to try though and i need a buttload of reinforced iron Oh, no, we were making rotors, right. But I need more screws. So I think I can make... <laughs> yeah, I think I can make some some screws. Maybe some. Maybe just a little bit. Not a, not a ton. So we only need 24 rotors. So, yeah, we're, I've automated a whole bunch of other things. And the cool thing is, is, like, I unlocked the assembler. And so if I wanted to, I could make... I could basically take two parts and make it into a final product. So I could make you know have one thing producing screws and then producing iron rods and do it for me but i i don't want to make another i don't want to make another biomass thing. i mean it's just it's just a lot of work and so that's why i'm trying to have multiple rods running hey guys moment of truth phase one is going to be completed right now so we're going to go ahead and seal it okay it's sealing it's pushing it in there it's, and then we're going to send it oh yes is he gonna do it? Something's happening. Does it show us? There it goes. There it goes. You can see it going up. You can see the lights going up. Let's see if we can see it like way up there. I don't know if we'll be able to. Zoom in. Nah, once you gets past that pole, you can't see it anymore. I was hoping you'd be able to like watch it go all the way up, but it looks like it stops after the fact. So, uh, we've done it. Phase one is done. So phase two, delivery lock tier five and six, which is not even in the beta. It's not even in this, in the alpha, I mean. So now we've unlocked phase one. We've done phase one. So now we should have the ability to unlock tier three things. Coal power? What? Tractor? Dude, conveyor belt mark two, 120 resources per minute. Whoa, resources between buildings, conveyor pole stackable. Yo, wait, what a minute. Fuel, any type of fuel. Has a built in craft bench, can be automated to pick up and deliver resources at truck stations. Sugar cube, baby. Truck station. Either send or receive resources to vehicles. Has an inventory slot of 48 slots. Dude! So then I'm assuming we can transport from here. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Burns coal to generate electricity for your power grid. Has an input so feeding coal can be automated. Oh, allows you to scan for coal. So we have to complete this milestone. So we need more rotors. Dude, we can find coal. This is awesome. So they, if you didn't see the roadmap for the game, tier seven, I think, is like nuclear power. And so eventually we'll be able to really get things going. But <laughs> oh, this game is awesome, man. It just keeps getting better and better. I'm better at 1500 in here. I was going to say, this has been going for so long. That would have been nuts if, it didn't, if I didn't have enough for that. But still, like you can see why I need this iron. It's just insane. Got 45 left in there too. It's just an insane amount of uh, product that I need to ha get. I'm gonna need that. Get out of here. Uh, raw iron ore. Don't need that either because that's just. Nah, I can take that. I'll keep that. I'll keep that. 
Uh, well, do I have I have ore in here too? Let's see. I scan that slug thing. Let's do this. Let's do these flowers next. What did it? What's it? It's just like allows you to like scan for those things. The crystals on this slug can be harvested and converted into a power shard that functions with current fixit technology. Several buildings would be capable of performing over 100% capacity if infused. The derived what? blueprint is now accessible in the hub. Dude, okay. Just as I thought. So in the hub, so now I can do the power slug thing. Uh, wait, where? Where is that at, though? Overclock production. Dude, no sweet. This up upgrade unlocks new function that lets you overclock your factory buildings. That's what I want right there, dude. Let's do. Let's switch to that one instead. Dude, overclock production. That's gonna. Is that gonna allow me to? Yeah, it should allow me to like make things quicker, which is exactly what I need. I already have 50 of those. I already have this stuff. We'll just gather it all. Can just click take all. That would save me some time. Okay, we got everything. Dude, overclock production, epic! But how long do they last though? That's the, that's the real question. Oh yeah, I need more wire. How long does it last? Because if it doesn't last that long, is it really worth it? Because going gathering leaves is not, no, that doesn't take hardly any time at all. Duh, okay, two of those. So let's see, how does this work? Okay, 100% overclock. Uh, can overclock this, baby? How long does this last, though? Over, overclock. Oh yeah, power shard. I can overclock it even more. Capacity is like way higher now. Okay. How long this part takes to craft? So we drop that from six seconds. Dude, sweet, okay. Nice! So we can really overclock things. I just need to get more slugs. Come here, Mr. Slug. I somehow climbed this rock. Alright, let's look around for other slugs. Ah, uh, there's one over there. They're usually up on top of like high places. Alright, we can go get another one. We gotta overclock. I want to overclock all my biomass things, and it would be nice if I can overclock them multiple times, but slugs are a rare commodity, man. You can't find slugs. That looks like a building. Wait, what? Wait, what's going on over here? This is so many things, like, yet to explore. Oh, crap. Like, I could... Oh, come on, man. Give, give me up there. Come on. Give me up here. I just climbed up that, like, two seconds ago. Keep it going, keep it going. There we go. Slug it up. Hey, what is that? Looks like some kind of ancient ruin. Another slug. There's slugs everywhere. Where's the beast at, dude? I haven't seen a beast in a while. Yeah, this is definitely like some... Look at this. Definitely a thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, give me that wood. I'll take that wood. Give me that... Whoa, holy smokes! Oh, let me get that before I... That's one of those crystal things. Can't even use them. But dude, dude, the wood. The wood's insane. The wood here's crazy. Give me all this wood. The biomass wood is like great because you can make so much with so little. Nice, dude. Look at that, dude. This... See, it's like little things like this is making this game really interesting. Oh, I can just push down. Makes sense. Sweet, man. Give me another slug. Dude, there's slugs everywhere. We can overclock so much. It's gonna be great. All right, dude, back at base. Let's make some more power shards. Man, I can make a lot too. Sweet. All of them slugs coming in handy. Can, can just make some biofuel and stuff too. That'd be, that'd be helpful. I think I'd we'll just pop one in there, yeah. Overclock that. Overclock this. Increase the production time. Uh, we'll also do this one for a second time. 
3.5. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. It pays to do some research. Sweet, man. Now things are going to be rolling real quick. Okay. So now that that's done, tier 3 is coal power. Let's select this milestone and let us begin the process of unlocking this. Now, I'm going to need... I'm gonna need a lot of a lot of screws to make these plates and rotors and stuff. It's not actually gonna take that long at all because I've got everything. I should have enough for everything, actually, which is sweet. I'm glad I glad I made another uh, iron production. Is having the additional rods is definitely coming in handy. So we need to make 25 plates. That's it. So I can make six right now. We just gotta get that to 25 and we'll be good. And then we can unlock this truck thing. The sugar cube is what it's called, I think. Somebody made like a like a mini game where they were battling sugar cubes in the sky. It's really cool. I'm actually recording this video on Sunday. And so you'll probably most likely see this later in the week. Uh, I just kinda wanna space it out. And it depends on how many I can like actually get pre-recorded because the alpha ends uh, like on Monday at 10 o'clock for me and so I don't know if I'll, maybe I'll wake up and try to get another one because I'd like to like have I'd like to have like multiple ones throughout the week you know and like keep it going because it comes out on the 19th and so if we can do it you know we can have videos going th up into that time like that would be really cool so we've reached. unlocked coal range transportation as well as the construction of outposts is now encouraged an increased focus on the explore and exploit dude so we can do coal now Long range outposts. Whoa, I have no coal around. Oh, there's one. Way look at how long it's taken. Whoa, okay. Eight hundred meters. Five hundred seventy nine is the closest one. So making outposts and having long range transportation for the coal. Like they want you to move to coal power, obviously. So uh sweet dude. Burns coal for electricity for your power grid. Has an input so feeding coal can be automated. Feeding coal can be automated. So then we could just run a power pole over to it, right? A couple power poles? I don't know. Uh, tra tractor and truck station. Either send or receive resources to vehicles. Has an inventory slot. Okay, so we can like. So we could get. Uh, we can have two truck stations. One by the coal to to gather the coal. It takes and well, could we just have one? Send or receive resources to vehicles. No, we'd have to have two, right? We'd have to have a miner mining the. So this most likely we'd have to have this mining, uh, like a miner mining the coal that would take it to this. We take that, send it to a truck then the truck transports it back over here to another truck station and then we can like offload it from there into the coal plant so we can fully we can probably fully automate this system and so we need be five beacons ah we're gonna have to unlock another milestone because i don't think i have beacons unlocked let's see beacon is it unlocked by default Rotor, module flame, module frame. Maybe I have defaults, but no, 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 defaults, the beacon's in here, isn't it? Yeah. Which we have everything for this. We have to wait for the thing to return. 250, okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. We get, we can get that in no time. Tell you what though, if we make a coal plant, I'm going to definitely redo everything. Because this is like crazy. This is like crazy having to like manage all this and uh, having to worry about this because like this is like, I don't know, it's just a lot of process and it's not only that but like this whole layout is just like stupid. Like the way I built a power system was just stupid. I had no, I had no, I had no thought in, in mind because I didn't know what to do, I didn't know I had to do this stuff. I could redo it now but like why, why spend my time doing that, you know what I mean? So needless to say, uh... Come on, man. Man, I gotta wait so long for that to come back. Dang it, dude. I got things to do, man. You need to hurry up. Oh, it's returned. Sweet. Now I can do this. This done. Click. Click. 
clickety click and clickety click. Launch it again. Coming right back at up back at ya. All right. Milestone reached. Beacon. To ensure your survival and effectiveness what do we need when for exploring xenoplanetary environments, you now have access Probably to an object scanner and beacon. This over here. Dang, this is annoying. How close I put that? Object scanner and beacon. We just need two cables. We need five of those. Okay, okay. Easy enough, easy peasy. Make a bunch of those. We'll be good to go. Sweet, man. We are flying right, flying right now. Yeah, next time, uh, if I do this again, we're obviously gonna make this better. Cause this is nuts. Five. Sweet. I got everything I need. I can make my first truck. Uh, okay. So, uh, wait a minute. In here, I got these things. Sweet. Yeah, man. All right, let's see. Coal. The closest coal was over here, right? So. We put if we build anything we'll build it I don't know I don't like where this is I don't like how I've done this right over here is fine just too many conveyor belts to walk over and stuff maybe in the future I'll like make everything raised oh sweet man we've done it we've made ourselves our first vehicle and it's a beaut it's a beaut man what a beautiful looking thing it's glorious okay Drive the tractor. <gasps> Look at me in the back there. Okay. No, don't delete it. Open workbench. Vehicle fuel tank. Boom. Okay. Is that gonna make it work? <gasps> oh, sweet dude! Yeah. Look at that coming up and over there. That is so cool. Hold on. If I do photo mode, can I? Yeah, <laughs> sweet man. This thing's awesome. Yeah, little 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 vehicle. That's so cool. Man, this game keeps getting better and better. Man, the only thing with this it uses fuel like so fast. So it's great that you can actually like craft on it. Cause if you couldn't craft on it, you would be screwed with this thing. It goes through fuel like ridiculously quick. We gotta definitely get a better type of fuel, like maybe some actual. It's probably why you should unlock all the milestones as you go along. All right, let's see how close this coal is. We need to find it. Hopefully, definitely takes a, a while for 418 that way, okay. Uh, right, I drive it from the back. Let's try to get over here so we can keep an eye on it. Right, we can, great, we can just run over things. I wonder if I can just run over animals now. Those little, those little things. I also wonder what happens if we take it over an over a ledge. Let's test it out, shall we? It's two of them right here. Oh, <laughs> look at that, man! Ran them right over. What in the world? That's the edge of the world. Hold up a minute. Jeez, we almost just went off the edge. Hey, wait! They came back to life. Oh, I didn't probably kill them. I probably just. Messed them up for a little bit. They don't react to me though. They definitely. Oh, they just pop back up. Okay, there will be bugs. There will be things that aren't accurate. Can I. S I'm not recording autopilot. You can record what you want it to do. Oh. Uh. Whoa, dude. You can record the path you want it to take over and over again. That's sick. We gotta get over here to get look at this coal power stiff. Alright, question is where is it? Coal. Show me yourself, coal. Show me where you be. 212 to the southwest. Wait, isn't there like a cliff here? What am I supposed to... Okay, no, there's stuff over there. <gasps> okay. It's on a floating area. What? How am I supposed to get over... Let's go, I guess we'll go to this one. How am I supposed to get over to that? I'm in the world? Man, vehicle vehicles are sweet, though. I'll tell you that much. But we gotta craft up some more biofuel... Some biomass... We're gonna run out of it quick. Look at how fast you go through that. 
He uses it very quickly. That's copper. There's another one of those things right there. Yeah, we're gonna run out here pretty quick. Why don't I wanna hit that thing? Excuse me. This looks promising. Over here. Now that's iron. Hold on a second. Coal. Show yourself. 208 to the east. Ooh. Okay, we're getting closer. We'll find it eventually. Definitely kind of off road. Alright. Over here? It's a cave there. Finding them caves, man. Some water there. Dude, where in the world is this coal? Dude, down in here? Look at this area. Whoa, whoa, that's a new beast. Whoa, where are we right now? That's a big, giant dragon, dude. That's the biggest one we've seen yet. Wow, man, okay. Don't, it's like a crater. This is definitely like an impact crater. That's, that's the biggest one we've seen so far. Is it right in here? 215 Okay, maybe not Behind us It was up on that ledge Oh my gosh, please don't run out of fuel down here Look at the size of that thing Okay, that's definitely bigger than the other ones We're in a totally different biome now What is this place? This planet is huge. Uh-oh. We ran out of we ran out of power. This is scary, man. Ugh. It's like the worst spot to run out. Like who knows what's over here? Who knows? Come on. Who knows what's in this area, man? It's terrifying. Well, uh I was thinking we were gonna hopefully unlock coal power, but I mean, we unlocked it, but I was hopefully I was going to be able to use it. But look at it. Man, we ran into a great area for leaf leaf biomass, that's for sure. Look at all this. I wish you could just hold down E. There's tons of it here. Okay. I got a ton in, like, just a little bit of time. That's great. Wait, wait, wait. Talk about this. I see him. What? Oh, it's a lizard doggo! It's the rare lizard doggo, man. They were talking about him. They made mention of him being in here somewhere. I pet him. I pet him. Oh, gosh. Freaking thing. I hate fighting two of them at once. Because you really do a number on you. You're not paying. Ha! <laughs> you got your head stuck in the wall? That's what you get! You're messing with me. Get out of here. Yeah, nobody got time for that, okay? Nobody's got time for that nonsense. Alright, let me eat some of this stuff, man. I hate how. Is there a better way of doing that? Because that's really annoying. Alright, let's craft, shall we? Workbench. Craft bench, there we go. Biomass wood, we'll make, oh, I can only make one of those up, that's great. But I can make quite a bit of this, it'll let, it, it'll at least let us like drive around for a little bit longer. Whew, we're having a hard time off-roading up this hill. But what did we find here? What is this? Look at how many leaves are in this place. What's this stuff? Oh, sulfur. Okay, where's this, where's this coal at? Oh, that's not what I want to do. Get out of it. Drive the thing. It's got to be right over here, right? Yeah, here we go. Is it up high or what? 150. No. 
There's some weird things in this game, man. No way. Is it literally up on top of there? It better not be. Okay, it looks as though there might be a way to get up on there. I'm gonna... Okay, well, let's just see. How am I supposed to extract this on a conveyor belt? I can't even get up there. Is that where it is? Is this this isn't coal, right? This is copper. Man, where is it? It's on top. It's on top of this one. Oh, are you kidding right now? How am I supposed to get up there? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I think the only way up is... Let's try this. Try to drive this over here. Because if I can get up... As long as I can get up, then I might be able to... Can I actually climb up on my vehicle? Yeah. Yeah, but... Oh, never mind. Nope. Okay, so this one's useless. Alright, well, next episode... Oh gosh! Next episode, perhaps we'll we'll make something with coal, cause it's not happening in this one. Cause I gotta go drive somewhere else, cause coal's on top of a giant area that I can't get to. All right, see ya.